Hi, I'm Melissa Ishikov. I'm a group manager for the plan stage, and I wanted to show you how to configure a board using labels. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and walk through an example. Um, so first, uh, what I've done, and I didn't want you all to watch me data enter, but I've created a set of labels to signify a workflow, very basic one. So going from not started, in progress, completed, and I put backlog as the starting state, right? When something's not been prioritized. Uh, so I created these, they're just standard labels, um, just like any other ones. And now I want to configure a board to show sort of a Kanban flow with these states, and I'll show you how to do that. So over here in issue boards, this is the basic board and you can see it just shows open and closed. If you want to get more granular than that, you go over there to create list. And then I'm going to add backlog, add to board. So you see now that's there. I do this and basically add all the different labels. Uh, and that started, add to board. And this basically will add each of these as columns uh, in progress. So now you have these and what you can essentially do is I'm moving issue one to backlog and what will happen behind the scenes is that you see this label was applied and I can get a visual read on where an issue is at. So again, you create labels, uh, you go to create list, you add that label and you can also reorder this. So if I wanted to kind of like switch this around, I can put it in the order that makes sense for my workflow. Um, so I could get a visual scan of where things are at. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful um, and stay tuned for more videos about boards.